And the old school pickup truck is getting a new school makeover. Commercial truck maker Workhorse is unveiling its new plug-in hybrid pickup truck right here in New York City. The company hopes to revolutionize the market and put Tesla on notice. FoxNews.com's automotive editor Gary Gasolou is with Workhouse CEO Steve Burns. Gary. Charles, I've actually got two ways to pick you up here in New York today. This is the Workhorse W15 hybrid pickup and the Surefly hybrid personal helicopter that the company's also working on. We'll get to that in a minute. Steve Burns is the CEO of Workhorse. Okay. Uh, your company went public back in 2015, building commercial vans. Now you're getting into the commercial pickup truck business, the pickup truck business. Two and a half million pickups, full-size pickups sold in America last year. Yeah. Not one of them was a plug-in hybrid. Right. Why is this a good idea? I mean, if the big guys aren't doing it, why do you think this is a space you should be getting into? Yeah. Well, when you see a space that hasn't changed in a long time, it's ripe for innovation. And essentially, a pickup truck's been the same uh, for uh, almost 100 years. So we think, uh, given that passenger vehicles are, are becoming electric now, uh, people to do work, you know, have to work. Uh, we just thought we'd brought them a tool that would let them do the work more efficiently. Got 5,000 orders from them, a factory in Indiana where you're going to be building them starting next year? Yep, late this year, early next year. What's it going to cost and what could it, what could it do for a customer? $52,000 for an all-electric pickup truck or, or a hybrid version. You're going to be doing an all-electric version yeah. sometime. Yeah. Tesla is also going to be doing an all-electric version yeah. of a pickup. Yeah. At least they say they are. Yeah. Uh, you just finished your fourth equity offering here in yeah. New York. Yeah. Uh, Tesla's talking about getting out of the stock market going yeah. private. Yeah. Uh, how do you feel about that? I mean, you you're, seem to be pretty comfortable bringing on new uh, shareholders. Uh, well, being public has its advantages and disadvantages, but the transparency of it we like, and uh, it enables people to, to invest and get out when they like, so I, I like it. It's uh, It comes with an added overhead, but uh, I like it. You're worried about taking on a big name like Tesla in the electric pickup space. They're not yeah. working on a hybrid right now. Yeah. So, you know, we think, given the nature of what a pickup truck does, what people expect from a modern-day pickup, one day it might have to be to towing 6,000 pounds. So we think most people will go for the hybrid. But if somebody doesn't tow much, they might like the all-electric version. It's just a commercial vehicle, or you think there's a retail market for it? Well, we're starting with commercial because that's our DNA, but uh, a lot of consumers have asked us about it. So we started taking orders for consumers, and uh, after the first round of... Uh, of industrial ones, then we'll go with consumers. Pickup business, a tough nut to crack on its own, but you're also getting into aviation yeah. with a hybrid electric personal helicopter. Yeah. How do these two things yeah. go together? Yeah. Well, uh, there's a whole emerging market called EVTOL, vertical takeoff and landing. So personal mobility, whether you're, you're delivering people or cargo, uh, electric air mobility is, is on, the, on the come. So this is something somebody would buy just to have fun with on the weekend, but you also think there's commercial applications for yep. it. Yep. So it's a short range. You know, we think, why doesn't everybody have a helicopter in their, in their garage, right? And they're relatively expensive, difficult to learn to fly. Most people perceive them as not being safe. So something that's easy to fly, you fly this with just a joystick, right? It's, like, it's really literally like a big drone. So it's safe, it's easy to fly, it's relatively inexpensive. Why is it safer than a regular helicopter? Well, we try to have not a single point of failure. So if a bird strike should hit that prop, you know, the other seven can get you down, right? It has a ballistic parachute in the middle. The worst case, everything goes wrong. You've got a parachute to bring the whole craft down. So it's just inherently got less things that can, can take you down. And you're going to be doing this for $200,000. You've done some test flights so yes, far. Yes. Haven't had it up to altitude, but when you can, right. how fast can it go? How high can it go? What right. can this do performance-wise? It can go about 75 miles per, per hour. And uh, I also go about 75 miles in range. Now, this isn't the only thing you have that flies. You have also got commercial trucks with drones on top that can right. deliver packages. Right. You're working with UPS on that project? No, we're, we're working with a bunch of uh, folks, but nobody in particular that we, we can mention yet. But UPS has tested it for us, and uh, FAA is allowing us to make deliveries right now. So a drone jumping off the top of a truck to make a delivery, we think, makes a lot of sense. And that's been working out well for you? Yeah, yeah, that's really... You know, that's a case of, uh, it's about a buck a mile to run a diesel. It's about three cents a mile to run a drone. So it's one of those things that's going to happen. And the driver runs the drone, single operator, once you get into production? Yep. The driver hands it through the roof to the package to the drone, and it takes off and delivers by itself. All right, Steve Burns, CEO, workhorse. I know, helicopter, pickup truck, they're both pretty cool and very different from what the, what's on the market today. Gary Gasolou, Steve Burns, thank you both very, very much.